everybody what's up it's your girl different and welcome to difference well youtube channel i hope you all out there having a wonderful day like your girl and your boy my nephew Pooh, right here <laughs> and if not manifest plan and prepare for a better one you guys because i guarantee you guys it's surely coming to you all for sure and if this is your first second third time or more to my youtube channel welcome happy to have you before you guys leave make sure you hit that what Pooh, tell them what the is. subscriber and the notification down below that's what this will be all about we are <laughs> oh god we gotta get to you okay <laughs> we had these conversations before you guys so if you guys haven't tuned in before and see uh my vlogs uh, with my co-host here, my nephew Pooh, <laughs> he oh, likes oh. me to start our other show. So, but we're gonna wait, Pooh, until we get into it. So, I ask you some questions, okay? Remember what we talked about before yes. we hit record? Yes. Okay. So, sit back, relax, and wait your turn, okay? okay. My time to shine. Jeez. Thank you. Right. <laughs> See what I'm dealing with, you guys. So, and then, as I say, you guys, uh, definitely, like he said, hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. So when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn about your girl. And speaking of coming and learning about your girl, I'm an author, motivation speaker, CEO of my own small business, Third Eye Entertainment LLC, a business that tries to bring social awareness to society through our products and services in which we educate, inspire, and entertain you guys all at once. So again. First, second, or third time, it don't matter. Just hit that web button, poop. The subscribe button, the notifications down below. Yep, there you go. All right, you guys. So today, uh, we're bringing you guys another movie review for Thursday. You know, on Thursdays, we do our movie review or pop culture content. And so this one uh, is going to be in regards to Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. We finally just went and came from watching it. And so <laughs> you got to see it. Um, and so we'll share our outtake on the movie review as well as sharing with you guys the movie preview and just <laughs> okay thank you sorry you guys uh he likes to move around uh and can't stay put so we just got to work with it you guys and move through it um but in any case you guys we got a chance to go check out the movie um it was pretty good from beginning to end it kept us interested uh you like the movie Pooh? Yeah, I like the movie. Okay, the movie cool. was pretty cool. Okay, okay, cool, cool, cool. So what we're gonna do is we'll check out, we'll show you guys the movie trailer, and then when we come back on, we'll share our thoughts on the movie. Yeah, how about mm -hmm. that? Yeah. Okay. So here it is, you guys. Check out the movie trailer for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, and then once we're done, we'll come back on and we'll talk a little bit more about it. Yeah. Here it is. Have fun. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. I'm Star Lord. I formed the Guardians, met a girl, fell in love, and that girl died, but then she came back. <laughs> came back a total dick. Oh, please. He left out some important information, but that is the gist of it. My sacred mission is to create the perfect society. He didn't want to make things perfect. He just hated things the way they are. you all to know that I'm grateful to fight beside my friends. Incinerate them. <laughs> we were always searching for a family until we found each other. Are you ready for one last ride? fly away together into the forever and beautiful sky whoever it was that you were in love with it sounds more like her her do not bring me into this <laughs> knock it off what I never noticed how black your eyes were. They were replaced by my father as a method of torture. He, he picked a pretty set. 
All right, you guys, welcome back. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that movie trailer of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. As much as we enjoy watching the movie, I have my nephew here. I want to share his thoughts on it. Okay, Pusa, you've been waiting patiently, and it's your time to shine now. Go ahead and tell me Thank and you, the Paul. world uh, what, what is your favorite parts about Guardians of the Galaxy? Oh, I like uh, Rocket's flashbacks in the movie, like him and his friends and stuff. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut y'all cool, but maybe I should have did a little backdrop for those who couldn't tell or hasn't gotten a chance or skipped through watching the movie trailer. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. Hold on, bro. Let me just tell him this real quick. So, uh, the movie was circled around uh, Rocket and his past and where he came from and, and who made him. And so, they they uh, made they centered it around Rocket and him in the beginning ended up getting hurt and they had to go on a journey and a quest to save their friend. The usual but uh, throughout the movie, they showed bash the back flashes of his backstory and what went on with him and the people he, he had originally in his lives that he lost and why he is the way he is today. And so, sorry people had to cut in for that and fill him in on it, but uh, as well as with Gamora from the past was in the movie, but she wasn't really with uh, the Guardians, so. She, she was with the Ravagers. Yeah, she was with the Ravagers and, and, and Quill, he couldn't take uh, her not be her being alive, but still not knowing or loving him the way he loved her. So uh, it was just a, a, a happy but sad ending at the end, I guess. But in any case, back to you, Pooh. Tell us what else you liked about the movie. Oh, I liked the part when Yondu was some like was somewhere in the film's climax. Oh uh, yeah, talking when about at the, uh, I'll use my head to fly the arrow, boy. I <laughs> use my heart. Oh my gosh, yeah. When he was telling uh. I forget the guy's name. But when he yeah, was, I forgot the guy's name too. Me too. So sorry, um, but he was telling his uh, friend that you know he didn't use his uh, head to move the arrow; he uses his heart. And same thing he told Quill back in Volume Two. And so um, that was one part. What else did you like? What did you, what didn't what didn't you like about the movie? Well, well, somewhere, somewhere later in the film's climax, when Peter was about to, was like trying to hurry off the exploding ship, uh, he, I thought. Well, he used a, one of these little holes, like a water hose, to spray oh, him to yeah. the other ship. Yeah, I thought he was, oh, that sucked, man. I thought he was going to die, too. But Me, too. He didn't. He made it through. And so, and, and he made it because uh, Adam, he came to save him at the end. And so, that was Adam is cool. his golden guy. He's like a super heel. <laughs> yeah, he's a mm -hmm. golden guy from the Sovereign. Um who was in connection with Volume 2. I gotta get my shine in too, cool. Sorry, I'm talking too much. Okay, go ahead. Do your thing. Okay. Have at it. Yeah, yeah like her said, I thought, I thought Quill was gonna end up like like in the previous movie when Yondu sacrificed himself for Peter. Talk about some... You may be your father, but you weren't your daddy. <laughs> Dang lucky you, my boy. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was about to end up like Yondu. It told... Thank God Adam saved him. Yeah, he came in and saved him and was able to rest and restore him. And they, they then came back into any end together. And uh, as well as Rocket was able to save. Uh, and as well, I'm sorry, uh, he was able to... Dang, maybe I missed my thought. <laughs> uh, he was able to accept finally being a raccoon. And in the end, he found out what he really was and where he came from. And so towards the end, uh, he says his name is Rocket Raccoon. And so now... Knowing where he came from, uh, he's able to accept it and move on and become something greater than what he was. And so, at the end of the day, I liked the movie. It kept me entertained. Kept him entertained. Yes or no? Yeah, you kept me entertained. Yeah. <laughs> so, if I if I give it, I say about a 9 out of 10. Um, there were some things I didn't like about it. There was some of the cuss words in it. They went, it, 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 um, I would notice from like the first, second, and the third they progress with the language in the movie. Like in the first one, you go back, you see they barely doing any cussing, but in this one, they let off some shots. So that was the only thing. And so be prepared, uh, parents, if you take your kids there to watch it. Um, it's some grown folks language yeah. in there. And he knows not to repeat it, so. <laughs> yeah, take your mama to the movie theaters to see the new Guardian of the Galaxy, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys. So, if you haven't gotten a chance to check out Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, uh, and if, if so, if you guys enjoy watching our movie review on the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, be sure by liking, sharing, commenting, and what click the subscribe button and the notifications down below. And one more thing, I got uh, to, what else you got? What you say? We're not at the end of it yet, so you don't have to be a little splat. No, no, I'm talking about, so for some of you that did see our previous review about the Super Mario Bros. movie, oh, yeah. go check it out now. Oh yeah, check out our previous movie and review. One, 
And one thing that is, that worried me about the Super Mario Bros. movie is like when Bowser trying to marry Princess Peach, but yeah, that's kind of creepy how he just wants to marry Princess Peach. Like, dude, ain't you a dude? Ain't you a hundred years old or something? Yeah, but can we get back to Guardians of the Galaxy? We've already did the Super Mario Bros. movie. How about we do this? Okay, okay, <laughs> okay. We'll get back to the movie. Go ahead, man. Go ahead. Go ahead. Steal my show. <laughs> I'm sorry. We already did the Super Mario Bros. But in any case, you guys, <laughs> like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more movie reviews uh, that we got coming out. They have some great uh, movies lined up this year to be released. Uh, next, they have, uh, what is that, uh, Transformers? The, and The uh, Little Mermaid we haven't seen. Oh, yeah, you want to go see that next? Yeah, I want to go see that if, if it's still available. Okay, yeah, we'll go check that out. Um, so, yeah, we'll do a Little Mermaid review uh, as well as, uh, what else they had? Um, they, wait, they had the Meg 2, the trench? Oh, yeah, we've seen that little poster, but that's going to be a little while. But in any case, that's why you guys got to hit that notification bell so when I drop content, you guys come into Difference World and you come and learn what's going on, yeah. As well as, don't forget, you guys, go to my website, differenceworld.net, and check out all my other social media handles, including my Instagram, my Twitter, and my TikTok, etc., etc., as well as those out there looking for motivational speakers, uh, would like for me to be a part of any grassroots conversations, or you know, we're looking for podcast guests uh, to do collaborations with. You can get it at your girl on my website. I am free of charge as of now, and uh, so get it in while you can. Uh, also, don't forget my book, What If a Controversial Paradigm Shift is also available on my website. Be sure to get your copy. It is a book that's written to encourage and inform thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systemic racism in America. And I've done it through graphic and provocative illustrations. So again, please be advised that it's intended for a mature audience. It has sensitive content. And so if you cannot take this type of heat, Still come on to the kitchen. Just get your little fire bucket. You'll be okay. That is the point of it all, you guys, to have these conversations that need to be had that are often swept under the rug and turned a blind eye to. The point of it all is not just to, you know, rub people the wrong way, but it's more so talking about unity, accountability, acknowledgement, uh, uh, planting seeds for systemic change for the next generation, like my nephew. And so... Uh, get your copy of my book, What If the Controversial Paradigm Shift. Again, available on my website at differenceworld.net, you guys. Thank you all so much. I appreciate all the love and support that I am getting, all the reviews and the likes and the comments and the uh, subscribers. I appreciate it all. Please keep it coming and don't stop. Um, what else we got going on on the Difference World Gravy Train? And sitting over there looking at him. Okay, what you want to say, Gloria? I get it. Thank you for the fifth grade lesson, Cola. Oh, yes. He just graduated from the fifth grade, you guys. So, as you guys On see, Friday. Yeah, we have our uh, tomorrow. But jump in the gun. Gosh, Lee. So, <laughs> tomorrow. Oh, you're still on my show? This is my show, boo. This is my YouTube No, trust me. I'm going to get my own channel one of these days. I'm going to, I'm going to take over. Oh, okay. Take over. Replace her. Oh, okay, okay. Well, until that day, it's my time to shine. Okay, but in any case, uh, so again, you guys, be on the lookout for tomorrow. We have our, it's Friday, we'll be dropping our travel vlogs, and so I'll be sharing with you guys our adventures to Dinos Alive. So again, with this guy, on our trip that we did on Mother's Day to Dinos Alive, we went and see all the new uh, dinosaurs. You know, he's a dinosaur, dino fanatic. And so, uh, be on the lookout for <laughs> Thank you, okay. Uh, all these dinosaurs. <laughs> okay, we have a T-Rex. Okay, let me finish up. Uh, so, you guys, be on the lookout for that. And again, hit that notification bell. Uh, moving right along, uh, we have our mental health check for those that may need it, including myself that's going through any type of mental anguish. And uh, those that, you know, feeling, you know, depression, bullying, having suicidal thoughts or anxiety attacks, please know that it is okay to not be okay, but don't ever sit there and not be okay. Please uh, do whatever it is that you have to to keep yourself from going off the deep end and possibly taking anybody with you. It includes talking with a family member, a friend, picking up a hobby, uh, uh, mending broken bridges, cutting people off who mean you know well. Do whatever it is that you have to to keep your mental health in check. For those that may need it or know anybody that may need these mental health resources, please feel free to share it with them. The crisis hotline number is 1-800-273-8255, or you can call or text 988, or you can text 741741. And for those that would prefer to go online, you guys can visit mentalhealthishealth.us, or you can check out 988lifeline.org. Or those that are outside of the U.S. and that's watching your girl's YouTube channel, 
you guys can check out incounseling.com. Again, in counseling is spelled E N C O U N S E L I N G dot com. And remember, you guys, although I am giving you these resources, please remember that it's on you to do your own homework and your own research and find what works best for you. Because at the end of the day, you're the captain of your own ship and you decide where to navigate the waters. Nobody else. And lastly, remember, you guys, every trial and tribulation that you're going through at this time in your life, this too shall pass and you will get through it. So going off the deep end is not an option because it's not worth it. So don't do it. All right. Uh, and so bringing it back to a positive note, you guys, I know he's been itching and waiting patiently. So what else you want to say Pooh, before we close out? Go ahead. Show that last little uh, 15 seconds of pain, buddy. Get it in. What do you okay. got to say? Okay, one more thing about the Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm -hmm. What else? What you want to say? I like the part when wait, I think. when the part when Rock, when Rocket the Raccoon was in heaven with his friends, mm -hmm. and he met. Oh and yeah, he, Lila, the otter. Mm -hmm. and, and he was f falling down back to his back to his body. Oh yeah, when he was going back and was like, "I'm not a raccoon." Yeah, that was the last part of him in denial of him being a raccoon before he had to come to terms with it. But yeah, I like that part as well. And so again, you guys, if you liked our movie review on uh, excuse me, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, definitely show us by liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to my YouTube channel as well as you guys. Again, thank you all so much uh, for all your love and support. And with uh, my special guest and uh, uh, co-host, Miss Pooh, thank you co for popping in. And, and yeah, buddy, this is my show, so you're the co-host. So, I'm not a co-host, you know. Uh, okay, well, geez, Louise. Thank you, anyways, uh, for showing up and uh, having a good time with your girl. Hope you guys had a good time as well. Don't forget, whatever it is in life that you're feeling you're destined for, you have to manifest, plan, and prepare for it. And it will surely come to you guys. Difference will come and learn. Hit it, boo. What if? What if in 1619 Africans started dealing in slave trading? The tables were turned around. What if they kidnapped millions of Englishmen, women, and children from their homeland and brought them to America on a slave ship? What if a controversial paradigm shift is a book written to inform and encourage consistent, thought-provoking conversations about injustice and systematic racism in America through graphic but provocative illustration? What if provides a different perspective by detailing controversial deaths and events as four categorized paradigm shifts, historical, political, precedent, and hypothetical? What if? A controversial paradigm shift by author Different. Go to differenceworld.net.